In this video, you will learn how to send system messages to players in Roblox. Best of all, I will take you inside my game, Pebble Heaven, a new beginning. I like turtles. Let's now go to the game. And here we are, we have opened up Pebble Heaven, a new beginning inside Roblox Studio. And let's now go to our starter player, starter player scripts. We're going to add a local script. How about let's rename it to system messages. We're going to start by declaring our text chat service. So we're going to say local text chat service equal to game colon get service text chat service. To send the system messages, we're going to call a function. So we're going to go down here, we're going to say system message or just MSG for short. And our message is find the turtles. Because in this game, you need to find the turtles to move on to the next level. How about I put in a task wait here. So instead of sending the message immediately, we're just going to wait for 10 seconds before we send the player the message. Basically, every player that joins the game, after 10 seconds, they are gonna receive this message, find the turtles. And how about we do one more? So I'm gonna copy this, paste it here. After seven seconds, I'm gonna send another message they hide inside buildings, on rooftops, and even in a cabin in the forest. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create our function, our system message function. So we're going to go up here and we're going to insert our function local system message or system msg. Maybe I should insert function in here with help. I'm not sure what the AI is suggesting here, so I'll just hit tap and we'll take a look at it. But one thing I know for sure is our function is going to have one parameter coming in, and that is the message that we are sending. So here I have a parameter, call it MSG. I'm just going to go ahead and remove all this stuff from the AI. I don't think I want to use them. Sometimes they're useful save you some typing, but sometimes, you know, they're not related. So I'm just going to remove it. Next over here, I'm going to declare a constant string. I'm going to say local. And our constant string is going to be our system prefix. So I'm going to say system equal to, it's going to be a string. And our string is going to say system. Next, we're going to select a text channel to send the system message to. So we're going to say text chat service dot text channels dot RBX general. So we're sending this message to the general text channel. Or if you like, you can also send it to the system channel. In this case, it works the same. And to display the system message in this channel, we're going to say colon display system message. And our message is going to be the prefix system here together with the message that is coming in, that is passing into the function. All right, let's now play test and take a look. So here I am inside the game. You can see my message box here. I'm going to say hi. And we're waiting for the system message. There it is. It says find the turtles. I'm going to say OK. And then we got another message. It says they hide inside buildings, on rooftops, and even in the cabin in the forest. So there you have it, guys. In Roblox, you can use system messages to hint players in the game or to send messages to players in the game to let them know what's going on. 
If you want a message to be event driven, all you have to do is to have a server script on the server to fire a server to client remote event to the client to display the message whenever the system wants the client to see the message. To learn more about server to client remote events, you can look up our tutorial on server to client remote events to learn more about how to fire a server to client remote event. What I like to do now is once in a while, I like to send out a message to remind people to do certain things. And to do that, I'm gonna insert the following scripts. So here I'm doing a task wait of another seven seconds. And this while loop here is just so I can show you what's gonna happen. But for the real game, I'm gonna remove this while loop here. So it's only gonna do it once. It's gonna, it's not gonna have an infinite while loop to keep on sending out messages. But for this tutorial, I wanna show you what's gonna happen. So we're gonna keep on doing this every one second. We have an infinite while loop. And each time we're going to get a random number between 1 and 25. If the random number is 11, we're going to send out this message here. Please donate to PriceCP and iGamer if you like the game. So this is to remind people if they like, they can donate to PriceCP or iGamer, the two developers of this game, if they like the game. On the other hand, if the random number is 12, then we're going to send this other message here. Please donate to PriceCP if you like the PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorials. Else, meaning the random number is not 11, it's not 12. It could be any number between 1 and 25 that is not 11 and 12. Then we're going to send out this message. Go get them turtles. All right, so now let's play test and take a look. So here I can chat, say whatever I want to people in the game, like hi, and then give it time. I see a system message, find the turtles. I say, okay. And then the system tells me they hide inside buildings on rooftops and even in a cabin in the forest. And then another message, go get them turtles. Remember, we're only gonna send this once but here I want to show you the random process. So all the messages are get them turtles. I'm still waiting for a donation message. They're all saying get them turtles. Oh, there it is. Please donate to PriceCP and iGamer if you like the game. And now we're waiting for the tutorials message. So you can see most of the time it's going to say go get them turtles. But once in a while, it's going to remind people to donate. Please donate to PriceCP. So we saw that already. We're still waiting for the tutorials message. And it should be coming soon. And here it is. Please donate to PriceCP if you like the PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorials. Now remember, I'm going to go back and remove that infinite while loop for this game. Anyway, that's how you send system messages in Roblox. And guys, you can find the link to this game in the description of this video if you'd like to check out my system messages inside Pebble Heaven, A New Beginning. Come and check out the messages, check out the game, and your donations are always appreciated. I like turtles! Everyone, thank you all for watching, and we will see you in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone.